played a lot easier. Ace in the window. It comes A7-7. Seven, seven. How about that? I told you I love this call <laughs> with A7 suited by the main event champion. He just knows flop, when he's going to flop yeah. full house. Intuition. Huh? Just knows he's going <laughs> to outflop the two jacks. Makes it look so easy. Grafton leads for 300K. Let's watch the master, huh? Look at this. Little eye contact, little smirk. Makes the call. <laughs> Another yeah, ace on the turn. And now, this is ridiculous because it's going to be hard for Grafton to think, all right, what what aces would Hossein call me with pre that he's not three betting? Would he really call with ace X suited? Uh, the answer is uh, maybe yes some of the time. Hossein's sort of an old school player, goes with his gut. Check, check on the turn. Oh, yeah, just quads on the river for the World Series of Poker main event champion. What in the world? This is why you call with ace seven suited, Bree. Look at this board. Ace is full of Grafton jacks has for Grafton. Absolutely. It's quads for Hossein Ensign. Absolutely no reason to believe that his hand isn't best. He's going to try and get value from worse full houses. Yeah, we thought a pretty good flop for Hossein. Seven's full, then he turned to Ace's full, then he rivered quads. Look at this, the overbet, two million. And we know Hossein is simply going to put it in and Crafton is going to have to shrug it. Say what in the world? How many people are going to make quads on me today? The shove is for a bit over 3.4 million. Every ace in the deck, nearly every seven in the deck. You have to make them. You have to call. How much? <laughs> so 1.4 million. Yeah. So 1.4 million. Yeah. Awesome. Rough start for Sam Grafton. He's run into some hands. Sick of. To begin day three. Does use a time extension. I'm so happy when that ace came up. Uh, there's just <laughs> no bluffs here. Uh, I you heard Grafton, no he was equity. thrilled when yeah. that ace popped oh, up to your sure. point. In his the mind, he was, he was value betting against worse full the houses. The only thing is you're such an animal, you might actually bluff here. Like, you might think it's a chop. You can see after 30 minutes <laughs> how full of He's way <laughs> too happy. <laughs> great. How bad do I run? That, that was the time bank I did. Another one. Another time bank used. Oh, that was the Does toss it into the muck. Oh, just, just, I can't <laughs> look. I can't look. You can look. All, I, I, can can say, I, can't. all I can say is I didn't see the hand. Only move. for you. <laughs> I heard a big turn. Everyone else is such a baby. Kemp opens with the king 10 out of the hijack. Bicknell makes the call on the big blind with the king queen at diamonds and flops a queen. Gut shot for Kempa. Yeah, decision time. Typically, we see a lot of just check calls in this situation. However, I have noticed trends sort of 
shifting to where we have a hand like King Queen on that texture, the check raise is mm -hmm. incoming. Kristen elects to go with the sort of the bluff catch, conservative approach, check call. Let's see what develops. Jack 10 now gets there. Reiner having a 10 in his hand. Certainly a candidate to maybe consider two barreling, although it looks pretty clear to me like Kristen has a queen. A lot of the time, certainly she does have a nine some of the time. Could be elect to fire two shells to try and get a nine to fold out. King of Clubs, also kind of a fun card for Reiner if he wants to try and represent a backdoor flush draw. If we were to bet two shells here. There we go. Sizable. Second shell is for 115,000. Again, designed to fold out a nine. Queen doesn't really love it, but I don't think we're going anywhere if we're Chrissy B here with King Queen. She will check call again. Deuce the clubs on the river. And here is that backdoor flush that has appeared and now Reiner, Reiner ever clubs. continue firing three shells to try and represent that sort of holding. 385,000 in the pot. <laughs> I would love to see if you were to try and represent this thing, perhaps an overbet. Got 566k behind. 195. Bignall does make the call, call with the queens. Chrissy B. She sniffs it out, sees through it. Wonderful pot there, Kristen Bignall. Uh, you can see why she is one of the most elite players on the planet. Nice start to her day. Mm -hmm. Wow. We could speak oh to. dear. And um, no Rob viral. has flopped two pair and open ender. Luke, no messing around. <coughs> pot it with that top set. Yeah, it's one of these things as well. Rob, Rob loved his hand when that pot came down. But as soon as the person from the small one comes smashing pot, you're like, oh, I've got a straight draw. <laughs> 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 I think he's. Pretty, pretty happy with it, but I don't think he's got any any cause to do anything but call. Cool, he does. You got the button. So important, PLO. The, every time the board changes in it, there's so many, so many different combinations as opposed to hold them. Like having position is so big. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, it's actually. I mean, a seven or eight would have been the dream. Give up a full house. But yeah. Not complaining. 29,000 pounds in the pot, and you've just gone to 100%. Yep, yep, that'll be his. <laughs> and any of the chips that happen to come in will be his also. And he's checked, and well, Rob, uh, I don't hate this. He's got he's got the, the two pairs down the bottom. He could easily have a, a house here, right? I mean... Yeah, any and he's, 9, uh, 10 jack or anything like that that, uh, yeah. that Luke has is... They can't call here. Like, yeah, and it's 10 into 30. It's a one per pot bet. Obviously, uh... No, nah, you just have to shut down his knees. Yeah. Well, good thing for him is he's made it straight, so he doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not impossible that Luke, uh, that Rob talks himself into a value bet. Having the, t the top two boat cards. <laughs> he changed the size of the value bet the last second. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a tell. That'll be a very well saved 5,000 there. Yeah, so what well, he's thinking there's a good chance Luke's got a king with some sort of straight draw. Yeah, if he's got like yeah. king nine ten and ace king jack ten or some something like that. Well, with a rude awakening here as he gets check raised. I mean, this is the problem going for <coughs> thin for value, isn't it? Sometimes you put yourself in these kind of spots. Yeah, 
And now Rob's thinking, well, I've got an 8 and a 7. Right. Yeah. Yeah, actually, maybe the value that's not as dim when you've got the 8 and the 7 right here. You, yeah. you block the houses. And he thinks, like, oh, I can just I can just fold if he raises. And now he's been raised, he's thinking, <laughs> oh, actually. Hang on, it's Luke Short. <laughs> <laughs> Full flush, you know, he's, he's capable. Yep. I'm not going to ask you this time. <laughs> 35. <laughs> it's only 20. <laughs> Would like to see a call, take a flop. That's what he does. Mateos and Makita heads up. Oh boy. Jack 7-7. Seven, seven. Trips for Mateos. Jackson 7s for Makita. Both players clearly in their mindset thinking we've got it all. Makita is thrilled to have Ace Jack here. When in actuality he is crushed. Does have the Ace of Diamonds. But the Party Poker Team Pro is in some trouble. The down bet to 75K. But yesterday he didn't wear the sunglasses. Today he brought out the shades. He's going to need more than a pair of Rex specs to find <laughs> his way out of this one. Curious to see what Mateos does with trips. I would assume we just call. I would like that. He's going to go for the raise. Makes it 210,000. Oh, this is war. Announces raise. How much the minimum? We've got a three bet. Wants to min Pot. three bet. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to induce. 345. Wants to make it 345,000. This is why Mateos's raise on the flop is. 345. So delicious. Ask for the minimum. Guys are just clicking buttons back and forth. That leaves Makita with 770,000 behind. Now we can just call with three of a kind, and here we go. Makita wondering, oh, I have the Ace of Diamonds. What does he have? Does he have some sort of combo draw? He would never do this with a jack, would he? King of Clubs on the turn. Remember, we saw Reiner Kempa fold a jack in the small blinds. Adrian checks. Again, Makita bet the flop 75,000. Mateos check raises to 210. Makita then three bets to 345,000. Mateos calls, and here we are on this turn. It goes check, check. River is a nine. Adrian's hand is best. What does Makita assign Mateos' hand to be? We now just have a horrible decision to make. Uh, we can assume that Mateos is going to move all in here on the river with his full house. You do a total rewind. It's one of those spots, Jeff, where when you bet the flop on Jack 7-7 seven, seven with the ace jack, you are either way ahead or way behind. Clearly, he was way behind, and that's what led to this moment with this raising war on the flop. 
How about this? We're going to check. This might just let Makita happily show down this loser with Ace Jack. Can Makita escape without losing any more chips. I would love a check back here. I'm happy to get the showdown considering what happened on the flop. So strange. Yeah, you could be missing out on value, but would a worse jack even call? And would Mateos ever play any sort of jack in that matter? Look at this. He's going to fire it out there. Clearly in his mindset, this is all for value. That's 590,000. Leaving himself a little bit behind. saying this, but I'm just not certain. I like the way Makita played this hand. The milk Makita man. frustrated now after Mateo shoves. He knows he has the worst of it. chips in, see the bad news. That'll do it for Makita Badziakuski. Flops an open ender. Oh. Roberto flops the nut flush draw. Frederick's aces are best at the moment. Everybody happy. Everybody intrigued by this flop. Some action. Yeah, and Frederick sorting, letting it soak in. We suspect Roberto should have some Broadway sort of holdings on the button. Obviously, we can see he has the nut flush draw, and uh, Luigi likely to have hit this flop as well. It's exactly what's happened here. Decision time again for Luigi. Almost a million in the middle, and he has 1.2 behind. If we shove, do we suspect we're getting called? Likely, right? What do we give Roberto credit for? Do we know a queen? is going to look us up. Frederick did continue in this pot. Have to be a little bit wary about him. I like this. Just call. Try and make our hand on the turn. More than 1.1 million in the middle. Blank on the turn, four of hearts. Yeah, that is obviously clean for Frederick. I would be undeterred in this spot. Never worried about Luigi having me beat. And trying to get max value from Roberto. And of course, denying equity from all of those draws. We need to put the pedal to the metal here. And let's bet something healthy upwards of 800,000. Six hundred seventy five K is the bet on the turn. And Roberto now still getting a pretty good price. Implied odds after putting in an additional six seventy five. Being better than four to one. Oh my goodness. Wow, Roberto rips it in. Oh, this is absolutely bananas. Uh, this looks like potentially a set. Would he do that with two tens? Very likely now with the presence of another flush draw. This is really twisted stuff by Roberto. My goodness. After just calling on the flop, the Party Poker Team Pro rips it in there on the turn. With the ace five of spades. 
Max pressure put on Frederick Anderson. This is really disgusting stuff, and we have the Ace of Hearts in our hand. We can eliminate that sort of combo. So what is it? Could he settle on maybe King Jack of Hearts? Was it just the spade flush draw initially, or would he play a flop set just like this? Has some time extension cards. We expect he'll be using some. There's one. Stare down from the Swede. Can he find the call? Just trying to pick up any bit of tell or nervousness. Something uncomfortable about Roberto, and he is just poised. Brutal spot. Another time extension used, another 30 seconds to act. He's going to try and find some more stuff that he can beat. How about Queen X of Spades? Certainly have to consider mm -hmm. that holding. Question is, would he ever just move it in? Time extension. Does the shove look even stronger considering he still had Luigi to act? I don't really think you're worried about Luigi. He only had 900 and some thousand left. But could that look stronger to Frederick? Now maybe. Okay. I, I, I just, I don't think so. We, we already knew that it didn't matter, right? If you have a monster, you almost would want to call again. I think that's the last of it as yeah. far as his time extension cards go. So the, the final 30 seconds left to act. If he does not act, his hand will be declared dead, which will be just fine for that man, Roberto Romanello. Putting Frederick to the test. There are just so many hands he could have here that would be draws. I mean, you know, think about it. Five, six of spades, what do you do with that? Countdown is on. Wow. And there is the lay down. Hopefully I have. Do you want to see, you see it? Or you can wait 30 minutes. I want to play. He wants to Good. see. Eight, nine, half. He will see the ace five of spades. Wow. Sick and twisted bluff there by Roberto Romanello. How about that?